to the Wing Chun Kun channel where martial arts is the way of life. Today I'm going to share with you the Wing Chun Kun Ku. In Cantonese, what that means is the Wing Chun Manifest or the Wing Chun Core Concepts. So if you're studying Wing Chun Kung Fu, you need to know these core concepts that have been passed down through history through many generations of Wing Chun Sifus. And these will um, combine a lot of the fundamentals of Wing Chun that you need to know in order to uh, practice and execute the Kung Fu in the right way. So I'm going to explain to you six of them. There's a lot more, but here's six of the Wing Chun Kun Kun manifest right now. The first one is Yao Sao, Qi Sao, Mo Sao, Man Sao. Isn't it cool? It rhymes. So the reason they make it rhyme is so that it can be remembered easily, like a poem. And I uh, hope I pronounce Cantonese properly. Uh, my Cantonese is so-so, so bear with me. So what this means is, if you have the hand, stick the hand. If there's no hand, ask for the hand. So in practical use is, if you have contact with the other person's limbs or hands in this case, you're going to stick to them and keep sticking to them so that you have control of those hands. If you don't have contact with the hands, you ask for them, which is the man sao position in Wing Chun, man sao, which means you're asking for the hand. It's like a caterpillar. They don't have eyes, right? So how do they see? They have to feel with their tentacles or their antennas. So this is your antenna and you're asking for the hand. Your, uh, the concept is to use this antenna and to get contact with the other person's hand as soon as possible so that you can start sticking to the hand. So that's the first thing and first concept in Wing Chun is if you have contact, stick to them. If you don't have contact, ask for the contact or find the contact or ask for them so that they'll give it to you. All right, so that's the first thing. Here's the second thing. Loi lao hui song, la sao tik chong. It rhymes, isn't that cool? So what this means is if somebody is coming to stay, you're going to send them away or escort them away. If they lose contact, you're going to charge straight in. So how does this work in fighting? If somebody is going to come into your zone, into your range, you're going to greet it and then send them away. So it works more in a kind of a Tai Chi way too, because when you, the energy comes, you're going to greet the energy, suck in the energy, and then bounce it back to them. So that's what it means, okay? Or you can, basically, if somebody's coming to attack you, you send them back with a counter. So that's Loi Lao Hui Song. Let's all take Chong. So if they are um, losing contact, then you're gonna go straight in and charge in. So when there's an opportunity for you to charge into the center line, then you're going to uh, take the opportunity and charge in. So jik chong, straight charge. That's what it means. So that's the second saying. Let's move on to the third one. Here's the third core concept of Wing Chun, very important. And actually it's a core concept of many martial arts too. Here it says, loi lik, se lik, de lik, chut kik. It rhymes again, it sounds so cool. All right, so loi lik means incoming energy or incoming force. Se lik, redirect the energy. Se lik, borrow the energy, chut kik, which means to um, open up attack or start attack or start some kind of um, yeah, attack. So if there's incoming energy, you're going to redirect the energy. You're going to borrow their energy. So somebody is giving you energy, you're going to borrow that, use their energy to attack them. So this is not just um, exclusive to Wing Chun. A lot of martial arts this, uses this and this is actually um, the concept behind pretty much all martial arts, right? So this is a really good one. I like it. Loi lik, se lik, and then se lik chut kik. Okay, so that's the third one. Here's the fourth saying. It says, pa da zhong guai da, tam da zhong bei da. Now this is very important in all martial arts, not just Wing Chun. It says, if you're afraid of getting hit, eventually you're gonna get countered. If you are too greedy and uh, to hit somebody, then you're gonna get hit or you're gonna be the a target. It's gonna bounce back to you. So this is talking about your mindset. Don't be too fearful and don't be too greedy. Okay, have a, have a uh, centered mindset so that you don't get countered and you don't become the target. You don't fall into a, somebody's trap. Okay, so once again, 
it is pada. If you're afraid of getting hit, zhong guai da, eventually you're going to get hit or get countered. Tam da, which means if you're greedy to hit, then zhong bei da, eventually you're going to be the one that gets hit. All right, so that's the fourth one. Very useful. Just keep that in mind. Hey, here's the fifth saying or core concept of Wing Chun, which is uh, more Wing Chun than, more martial art, than most martial arts. It says, Lin Lin Big Gong. So what it means is you want to continue to stick to your opponent to force him with your um, techniques. And it says which means never, never, or absolutely not um, let go or absolutely not collapse your structure. So very important card concept in Wing Chun because we rely a lot on sticking hands. We rely a lot on the sticking, which means lim to stick, to be, uh, to keep contact with the opponent. So lim lim, which means continue with sticking uh, consecutively, or just keep sticking to the person, to big gong, which means to force your, the, uh, to force your technique, or force them to do something. Okay, so you're putting them into a position where um, they are on a defensive with your sticking technique. Then it says, Never lose contact, basically, or never collapse your structure. So, um, which is important because when you're doing the qi cell, if you collapse your structure, then it, it opens you for attack. Okay, so never, never do that. So this is a very important core concept in Wing Chun, and I hope you like it. Here's the sixth saying or core concept in Wing Chun. It says, Kun yao sam fa. Ging fa mo ying. This is one of the ones that don't rhyme, but it's very important. It says, your strikes comes from the heart. Okay, and that can be interpreted a couple ways. So it can be interpreted as your strikes come from the center line where your heart is. It, it comes out from the center. Another way to interpret it is to uh, say that your strikes come from your heart, which means your uh, intention which is internal and uh, coming from your energy. As heart it represents your energy, it represents your soul, represents your spirit and your mind. Um, so you can interpret that way and say that your strikes come from your spirit or your strikes come from your internal um, energy. Okay, that's one way to uh, interpret it too. And it says here, um, Ging Fa Mo Ying. Ging is force or um, energy or um, some kind of um, like the release or explosion of energy, it's called Ging. So when Ging, when you're releasing this energy, when you're attacking, Mo Ying, which means it's invisible or there's no form. So this is the core concept behind the one inch punch or the no inch or the no distance striking, is that if you can master um, this part, Kun Yao Sun Fa, if you can master the concept of using your internal energy to um, launch your attacks, then your force will have no movement, or will have no shadow, or will have no no form, and it will be invisible. So that's the core concept between the no inch, I mean the no distance punching, and the one inch punch or very close distance punching. It's based on this very very important concept. Okay, so that's the sixth one. Really cool concept. These are the six sayings. There's actually more, but these are the ones I like best and they rhyme, most of them. And these are the six sayings that uh, become the foundation of Wing Chun concepts. Some of them can be applied to other martial arts. And guess what? A lot of these concepts can be applied to everyday life too. Well, how do you deal with your problems? How do you deal with your uh, obstacles and any issues that you deal with in life? A lot of these concepts are usable and applicable to any kind of life situation. That's why in this channel, martial arts is the way of life. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions and comments, make sure you make them, and then we'll see you soon in the next lesson.